Hi, it's Dr. Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about headaches and give you kind of a new perspective on uh, an age-old problem. It's remarkable to consider how many different types of pain relievers there are for headaches, not just at the corner drugstore, but also at supermarkets, convenience stores, gas stations, etc. Drugs like aspirin, acetaminophen, and ibuprofen are considered um, common for headaches and are consumed on a daily basis in America by the truckloads. So have you ever thought about how we approach a health problem or symptom? Too often it's like a knee-jerk reaction where we pop a pill to alleviate an ailment. And rarely do we ask why um, there is a problem in the first place. For example, why is there a headache? What is causing the headache? It's very well established that there are many potential causes for headaches. For example, chemical imbalances in the body can cause head pain, such as dehydration or even intoxication. In large part, the pill stock in gas stations isn't targeted to the occasional hangover. It supplies the masses who suffer with tension-type headaches, migraines, and headaches due to mechanical neck disorders like whiplash, for example. So what's the pill actually doing chemically? This varies from pill to pill. The side effects can range from stomach bleeding to liver and kidney problems over the long term. It is long-term use that is especially detrimental to the body. Headaches are chronic disease typically, and it's likely there will be triggers for you um, and others for many years to come. Prescription pain relief drugs are usually much more powerful unless you're doubling up on the over-the-counter over variety, but they also come with a risk of addiction or dependence especially if you take them over a long period of time. But there's a different way to see the problem than the chemical approach. Although the mode of action of these different drugs changes, an important fact remains that they do not treat mechanical problems of the neck. If your headache is being caused by a joint injury in the neck, no amount of any drug can correct this postural fault. How would you know if your headache is really a spinal problem? It could be that you notice stiffness in the neck, or maybe it's harder to look over one shoulder than the other. If your, headache, if your headaches are accompanied by a lot of shoulder and neck stiffness and tension, for example, this is a sign of a spine-related cause. In some cases, though, the spine symptoms are very mild, so it's easy to see why patients rarely make the connection in their minds. A thorough exam is needed to determine if your headache is being caused by a spine injury. So x-rays uh, sometimes are, often, are used to precisely determine the positions of your spinal vertebrae, and they also show the condition of the discs and any degeneration from other older spine injuries. So several clinical trials have shown that chiropractic adjustments are effective for patients with tension type and migraine headaches, with a lower risk of negative side effects when compared with patients who are given medications that treat their headaches. So if you have headaches or you know somebody who does, it's really worth a try to uh, come into New Hope Chiropractic and have us check it out, do a consultation, find out exa the exact cause of the headache, and then uh, we can see if chiropractic is right for you because chiropractic has, uh, in the past, has helped many, many headache sufferers permanently get rid of their headaches. So check out our website, newhopechiropractic.com. You can also call us at 714-556-6966 for an appointment today. Have a healthy day.